Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over the solution to Mysterious Array from Code Chef March Kukos. So the first thing to know is, is that um, B of i must be a subset of B of i plus 1. What I mean by that is, if you consider the bits in the binary representation of the elements in B, then the set bits for each number must be a subset of the set bits for the next number. So for example, the set bit of the set bits of this number, which is just this bit, is a subset of the set bits of the next number, which includes these two bits. And the set bits of this element, which is these two bits, is a subset of the set bits of these three bits. So and that means that the, uh, for this array B, there exists at least one solution. And then uh, in this case, however, if you consider the first element, the set bits, uh, it has one set bit, which is this bit, but then this is not a subset of the set bits of the next element, since the next element doesn't have a set bit here. So this condition is not satisfied, then uh, there's no solution for the given array B and the answer is zero. So this is the first check that we need to do. Okay, the, then let's say that the condition is satisfied. So now we want to consider uh, which arrays we can create to generate this array B. And the first thing is that uh, for all of the bits which are zero, uh, for all the bits which are zero in B, uh, they must be zero in A as well. So uh, these bits are set to zero in A. And then if we look at the first time each bit becomes uh, set in the array B. So you consider this bit, um, it first becomes set for in the second element. So uh, you put a one over here in A. And then for this bit, the first time it becomes set is the first element. So we put a one over here. And then for the last bit, the first time it becomes set is with the third element. So that means you put a one over here. And then after we do that, uh, some of these uh, bits in A will not be set yet. And those bits uh, can actually be set to uh, zero or one, uh, however you want. So for this for this example, we have a total of uh, three uh, bits which are not set inside A. So uh, that means that the answer, the number of ways we can choose the array A is two to the power of three, which is eight. And now I will explain my code. So first part is just inputting the array, and then second part is checking that b of i is a subset of b of i plus 1. So this is a, a well-known expression for checking if b of i is a subset of b of i plus 1. And if you don't know this expression, then uh, you, you can try to search this up, but I don't remember any source where I don't remember the source where I learned this from, but I just remember that this is pretty well known. So anyways, if b of i is not a subset of b of i plus 1, then uh, we, we just output 0. And now we'll try to count the number of question marks in the array A. So the number of question marks uh, is the total number of set bits in the array B, but we need to subtract the bits which are uh, which appear the first time in the array B. And after we subtract that, the remaining bits can be set however they want. So first thing is we count the total number of set bits, and we can uh, we just loop through each element in B and then. Uh, this function built in pop count returns the number of set bits in a number. 
So I add this uh, to the total count. And then we have to subtract uh, these bits. So these bits are the bits which appear the first time in array B. And then uh, in the number of such bits is the number of, uh, of bits which appear uh, in the array B in any element. And if a bit appears in some element of the array B, that means it also must appear in the last element. So in order to find the number of bits which appear in the array B, we count the number of bits which appear in the last element. And yeah, so we subtract the count of the number of bits in the last element. And that will uh, take care of the first uh, set bits for each bit. And then last thing you do is C is now the number of question marks. So we calculate uh, 2 to the power of C. And we output the answer. Yeah, so this is pretty much it. Um, if this, uh, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask them in the comment section below so I can help you. And thanks for watching.